Hi students, today we are going to discuss about abnormal molar masses. The molar mass of a non-volatile solute, which we calculate by using four colligative properties, sometimes comes different from the actual molar mass of the non-volatile solute. Since colligative properties depends upon number of solute particles, hence whenever there is an association, number of particles decreases and whenever we have dissociation, number of particles increases. So due to association or dissociation, the value of the molar mass which we calculate by using colligative properties comes different from the actual molar masses. So abnormal molar mass is due to association or dissociation of particles. I will use the word particles or we use the word molecules. So abnormal molar masses is due to these two association and dissociation. Association means combining of molecules. In this number of particles decreases. Whereas in dissociation, dissociation means breaking. A bigger molecule breaks down into smaller particles. Hence, number of particles increases. Now, to overcome this problem, we have to use Vanot Hoff factor. What is this Vanot Hoff factor? Vanot Hoff factor is simply represented with I. I is called Vanot Hoff factor, whose value is Mc upon Mo. That is calculated for normal molar mass divided by observed or abnormal molar mass that is called Vanoff of factor represented with I. Now value of I if I is 1, it means calculated and observed molar masses both are same. Hence, we say neither association nor dissociation takes place. If I greater than 1, if the value of I is greater than 1, it means calculated molar mass is greater than observed molar mass. So we say dissociation takes place. It means the molecule, simple molecule breaks down into a number of molecules. If I less than 1, then association takes place. It means two or more particles they combine to form a bigger molecule. So this is the value of I. I one neither association nor dissociation. I greater than one dissociation and I less than one is always association. Again, I am repeating that colligative properties gives different molar masses because of association or dissociation. And mostly those solute particles which are polar or which are ionic or electrolytes, they are the those association or dissociation. Now we have to introduce the concept of Vanoff Hoff factor while calculating the molar mass by using four colligative properties. I that is Vanoff Hoff factor should be introduced on the right side of 
age equation that we have derived from colligative properties. Now, let us see how. The first colligative property we know is relative low in hypocratio, which has a formula PA0 minus PS upon PA0 equals to I, by not more factors on the right side, into WB upon MB into WA into M. This is I, Vanot Hoff factor. Second colligative property, delta KB is equal to KB into WB upon MB into WA into thousand. This colligative property is called elevation in body one. So we have to introduce R. Third colligative property is depression in freezing point delta Pf equal to I into Kf into Wb upon Mb into Wa into And the fourth colligative property is osmotic pressure. Pi is equal to I C R T or I into WB upon NB into RT upon B. So while calculating the molar mass for non-volatile solute, we have to use I. If this solute particle do not dissociate or associate, then I is taken as 1. But if association or dissociation takes place, then the value of I changes. Now, this is how to use value of factor. Now, next topic is degree of dissociation. Now, we have to find a relation between the degree of dissociation and the value of factor. We know what is the meaning of dissociation. Dissociation means breakdown. So, when we say degree of dissociation, degree of dissociation is denoted with alpha. So, alpha is taken as number of particles or number of moments dissociated. Keep in mind how many moles dissociated divided by total number of moles. Always keep in mind dissociation constant or association constant. Or we say degree of dissociation or degree of association is always denoted with alpha. So alpha number of moles dissociated or associated. Now there is a relation between alpha and I. What is the relation? For dissociation, the formula is different, for association we have different formula. So alpha is equal to I minus 1 upon N minus 1. This is the formula for dissociation. With I, Vanot Hoff factor, and number of particles or molecules. After dissociation. Similarly, alpha is equal to I minus 1 upon 1 upon N minus 1. This is for association, where the symbol has the usual mean. Alpha degree of association. Van Hoff factor minus 1 upon 1 upon n and be the number of particles which are associated minus 1. Now the next part is we have to derive this relation. How the relation between alpha and i has come. Let us discuss. Let's first we discuss for dissociation. Let us consider a bigger molecule. Let's take AN. It 
dissociate into and smaller particles. Let us consider the initial number of moles of An is 1 and it's 0. If alpha be the degree of dissociation, that the number of particles of A is an alpha, that how many number of particles decreases? That is 1 minus alpha. So I, that is Van der Hoff factor, is equal to total number of moles. Total number of moles after dissociation divided by number of moles initially taken. That is the another definition of I. So I is equal to what are the total number of moles after dissociation? 1 minus alpha here and alpha is here. So it is 1 minus alpha plus n alpha upon 1. So i minus 1 is equal to take alpha common 1 minus n. So alpha equal to i minus 1 upon 1 minus n with negative sign. We take negative common alpha is equal to i minus 1 upon n minus 1. Where alpha is known as degree of dissociation. So this is the relation between degree of dissociation and the Van der Hoff factor i. This is very important. When we solve the numericals, we will use this formula. Keep in mind. Now, let us move towards association. Again, we have to derive a relation between alpha and i for those molecules which get associated. Molecules which combine to form a bigger molecule. So, now we are proceeding towards association. Similar way, that remains the same. Now, for association. Consider n a means number of particles and a particles combine to form a bigger molecule a n. Now, if its number of moles is 1, its number of moles will be 0. If alpha means the degree of association, then the number of particles is n alpha upon n and here number of particles left is 1 minus alpha. Again, i equal to total number of moles 1 minus alpha plus alpha upon n divided by total number of moles initially taken 1. So it is i is equal to 1 minus alpha plus alpha upon n. So when we solve it, we get alpha equal to i minus 1 upon 1 upon n minus 1. Where these symbols have their usual meaning. So this is the relation between degree of dissociation. Here we have degree of association. If we say degree of dissociation, then the formula changes. Alpha equal to i minus 1 upon n minus 1. Always keep in mind the value of alpha can never be negative. So we have to keep this small thing in mind that alpha can never be negative. So this is the equation. Now we are going to solve few numericals based on this formula where we have to use i. Again, i is Reynolds half factor applicable only for ionic substances where there are chances of association or dissociation. Now let us solve a few numericals. Now you can see a question. Question is 0.5 gram of KCl is dissolved in 100 gram of water and the solution originally freeze at 20 degrees Celsius now flows at minus 0.24 degrees Celsius. Calculate the percentage ionization of the solute. Now, Kf is given 1.86 degrees Celsius. Now, 
which formula do we use here if we see clearly it is given kf kf means cryoscopic constant so when kf is given immediately it comes in our mind this numerical is based on depression in freezing point so the formula we have delta tf is equal to i into kf into wb upon mv into wa into constant now the question arises why we are taking i why we are taking i here if we see the numerical it's given kcl and we know that kcl is i it dissociate into ions hence number of particles increases and we are we have to calculate degree that is percentage ionization means we have to calculate alpha so to calculate alpha we must know the value of i so here we have to substitute all the values all the values has been given to us now what is the molar mass of kcl when we calculate the molar mass of kcl let's calculate its molar mass k what is the molar mass of potassium it's 40 plus chlorine 35.5 it's coming 75.5 so the molar mass of kcl is 75.5 Now, uh, there is a slight mistake in this. Potassium has a molar mass 39. 40 is of calcium. So let's correct it. It's 39. It's coming to be 74.5. So the molar mass of KCl is 74.5 gram per mole. Now we use it directly here. We need to calculate R. Delta P M is given. 0.24 degrees celsius since it is a difference between the freezing points of pure solvent and this solution so we take in kelvin so it is 0.24 we take positive sign equals to i into k 1.86 wb what is wb given it is given 0.5 gram so 0.5 into 1000 whole divided by molar mass 74.5 into given mass of this solvent that is 100 so from here we calculate the value of i so i is equal to 74.5 here we cross multiply it comes down 0.24 into 74.5 into 100 Whole divided by 1.86 into 0.5 into half. So when we calculate all these values, the value of I is coming 1.92. Keep in mind we have calculated I. So value of half factor is 1.92. Is it association or dissociation? since i is greater than 1 it means dissociation so now we have to calculate percentage dissociation how we calculate the degrees or percentage dissociation we know alpha is equal to i minus 1 upon n minus 1 for dissociation what is n We know KCl when it breaks, it forms a positive and Cl negative. So n is equal to two. So we have to take n two. Alpha is equal to one point nine two minus one upon two minus one. So alpha is zero point nine two divided by one zero point nine two. Now. When we have to calculate alpha in percentage, so alpha, that is percentage dissociation, 
is ninety two percent. So this is the way how to solve these type of numericals in which we have electrolyte or in which we have those substances as solute which can be dissociate or associate. Sometimes the question comes: find the degree of ionization when a molecule A it dimerizes. Dimerize means two molecules join together. Sometimes they say trimerize. So according to the question, we have to use the formula and we have to solve. Tomorrow we will do a few more numericals based on Van Ockhoff factor. Till the time, try to solve the numericals. Thank you.